today I'm so excited because I'm in a coffee plantation. Why am I excited? Because there's a lot going on in coffee farming. We have EUDR, that is European Union Deforestation Regulations. Today I'm going to teach you about that. I'm also going to teach you about the different variety or species of coffee that we have on this farm. I'm going to teach you about organic farming of coffee because majorly our channel is all about organic farming. To be in us, first off, we are harvesting. Look at the beautiful berries. We are harvesting coffee today. These are the beautiful berries that we're harvesting coffee today. I'm glad that you're on this channel with me. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm Ajay Mike. Yeah. Wagwa. Now, this species is called SL. This species is called SL. There are different species on this farm. There are actually three species of coffee or variety of coffee on this farm. We have SL, which is this one. You can look at the differentiation between. They are very tall. They have huge branches and the leaves are different from the other ones. On the other hand, we have also this species. This species is Roero 12. Re so, Ro Roero 11. This is Roero 11, as you can see. This is Roero 11. Uh, the leaves are also very beautiful. They are fruiting a lot. They have a lot of fruits, the ones that I'm picking up uh, as harvesting. And also, we have another breed here as well. This one, this breed uh, is called Batian 12. This breed is also so beautiful. I love it. I love the leaves. I love how they are fruiting. They are huge. They are full of berries. One thing that most farmers should know about uh, coffee is uh, number one, what is the spacing of coffee? Number two, what is the maturity of coffee? Number three, what is uh, uh, what are the value addition of coffee? So let's begin with the spacing. When you're planting your coffee, initially long time ago when we began introducing coffee to Kenya or East Africa, they used to do nine by nine. But nowadays, they do two meters by two meters by two meters. As you can see from one tree or from one coffee stem to the other is two meters. From the other to the other is two meters. That's what we do. The maturity rate, the maturity rate of coffee is roughly a year. Once you plant and prepare your land properly, you will start having fruits on your plant in an year's time. Another important thing is uh, uh, a stem like this one, a stem or a tree of coffee can produce between 10 kgs to 15 kgs of coffee berries. One acre can take between 100 to 110 trees and you can equate that by doing, an ex uh, by doing your mathematics very well and see how many you can expect per acre. Another important thing that we can talk about uh, coffee farming, especially in this area, is that we are doing majorly organic coffee farming. What, I, what do I mean by major organic coffee farming? We don't use any chemicals, we are planting this coffee a majority of this coffee has been planted using, actually not a majority, all of this coffee has been planted using uh, horse droppings. Why am I saying horse droppings? Because this area that we are in, there's a lot of horses. So it was, be, it, was, it, it was a good idea to use that. Although we have also goats, but horse, we have them in major, a, a lot of numbers. So we have been using horse droppings to cultivate this coffee and you can see how beautiful they have come along. Uh, in coffee, there is something called the UDR, uh, uh, UDR regulation. This is a uh, European Union deforestation regulation. Most coffee farmers nowadays are not aware about this, but you cannot sell your coffee into the outside market unless you are certified. So if you are interested in becoming certified in UDR regulations, there are several companies that does that in Kenya. One of the companies that I know they do this is uh, EPROD Solutions. It's an EPR uh, solution company whereby they can do traceability, of your of your produces they can uh, they can educate you about uh, about soil fertility soil ph uh, and also they can also do a lot of things for you using the epr in case the in case even generally even in case you want to do uh, uh, in case you want to do traceability of your products in case you want to 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 do in case you want to know basically a data collection is all they do majorly so yeah that's all about eudr so I educate a lot of farmers to delve into that and learn more about EUDR so that they can become certified and so that their produces can go out of the country. Uh, I'm joyful about this because uh, we're in the right space at the right time with coffee. And uh, coffee is coming back because uh, in Kenya, coffee is coming back. Uh, if you're talking about also, when you're talking about uh, fertilizer, there's a company called uh, Wonder Grow. It's based in Kipkelion. They're encouraging people to, to, to grow uh, to use organic fertilizer while planting their coffee. 
and they are doing major works. Look them up. Uh, they're called Wonder Grow. Also look uh, Eprod also up uh, on YouTube. They are doing a lot about coffee and educating farmers. So, like, uh, just a recap of what I was teaching you guys about. Uh, number one, the three species of coffee that we have on this farm. Number one, we have SL. Number two, we have Batian 12. Number three, we have Riru 11, which are this. The spacing, like you had mentioned, of the coffee is two by two meters. From one coffee tree to the other is two meters. The gestation period for the coffee, we said, is one year for it to start fruiting or flowering. As you can see, this is how they flower. Mike, you can shoot here. This is how they flower and produce berries. This is Riru 11. Apart from that, uh, expected uh, kgs or expected tonnage per tree or per acre one tree can produce between 10 to 15 kgs of berries you can equate that by having 110 to 100 trees on an acre i'm so excited to learn about this if you have any question about udr how you can get certified uh, how you can get UDR, uh, how you can get uh, certified by udr certificates there are many ways please just reach out to us uh, contact us, our uh, number are there, uh, or drop a comment on our YouTube channel. In case there's something else that you want to learn about organic uh, coffee farming, uh, reach out to us where you can get these false droppings. Reach out to us, we can also assist on that. Uh, if there, in case there's anything else that you want to learn and I'm not asked, please teach me as well because I'm also learning. Subscribe to our channel and in case you want to assist us, we have our chill number here, you can support our work. Thank you so much. Coffee farming is the way to go. Yo, Mike.